Hey, how you doing? I'm Pastor Fred. This is The Follow Through. And what we're doing here is we are living for God. And we're listening to Him. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting into the Word. And today we're going to be in Luke chapter 9, verse 25. This is a huge, 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 huge verse. So I want you to share this with somebody. I want you to uh, subscribe to this uh, channel and to the, the, the content that we're pushing out every day all the time. Jesus says this, he says, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits himself? Himself. Now, now this came right after Jesus said for us to deny ourselves and take up our cross and follow him. To follow him. So, so you've got to look at it through that lens. In fact, he wants you to look at your whole life through that lens of, of saying, look, this isn't about me. This is about Jesus. This is about what he has done for me. Uh, because really, when I look at my life, I, I could look at all the things that are not happening and get depressed and upset. I can let that drag me down. Or I can say, you know what? Those things are happening and they're not good, but Jesus loves me. He died for me. He rose for me. The price was paid for my sins and I'm going to heaven, right? As I, because it was this amazing gift that God bestowed on me, even though I don't deserve it. And so that's what matters in life. And so God's going to give me everything that I need all the time. So I don't have to fight for it, especially for things like power. Now, I, I'm sure there's nobody watching this, I'd be willing to bet, who is looking to take over the world, right? You're not, you're not sitting in your home, you know, uh, you know looking at uh, like, like Binky in the Brain. Remember that cartoon? where he was, you know, it was always about, you know, we're going to rule the world. And that was the, the plan. Every single episode was, was them trying to do that. Uh, you know, so, so none of us are that sort of arch villain uh, crafting our, our plan of world domination. No. But we often want more than we have. We want what other people have. You know, we, we look at it and we go, man, I wish I could have those things. And, and Jesus points out, that, that all the power in the world isn't going to save you. In fact, those things, as we, as we read in Scripture over and over and over again, are temporary. Power is temporary. Uh, popularity is temporary. Ask any movie star, uh, uh, any musician who, is, who has really hit the big time and is real popular. Some of them, you might have a hard time remembering their names, uh, even though they were a household name 20 years ago. And right, because people's tastes change, uh, the, the the crowd and and society very fickle, right? So you might be the mo most incredible thing one day, and then nobody wants anything to do with you because of you maybe you put out something different. Now, what if you're if you're if you if that was your your source of contentment? That's what Jesus is saying. Like like uh, like remember that. Like you put all your eggs in that basket, and then the basket goes up in flames, and it's gone. Somebody takes it from you. He's saying, look, what Jesus does, what, what, what his, the life that he gives can never be taken from us. That never changes. That never goes down in, 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 its, in, its, uh, in its worth or in its power. So he's saying, why, why would you do that? He says, hold on to, to, to Jesus. He says, hold on, hold on to me. That's what Jesus tells us. He's what matters. He, he has given us more than we can even imagine, more than the whole world. He's given us something better, eternal life. Life through Him. Real love. Right? Those are the kinds of things you can't buy with money. You can't buy them with, with power or with prestige or, or with influence. But what God wants us to do is use any power that we have, any influence we have, any, any worth that we are given by the world to help other people know who He is. So that we could stop and get off this treadmill and just start helping each other and giving our lives for the sake of other people. Simply because God loves them and we love them. See, because what that does is that stops the battling, that stops the struggling and the clawing and the biting and, and all the bad things that, that come along with that and replaces it with contentment, with love and with peace. And I pray that for you today that you might have that, all right? Have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you next time for another follow-through.